Hi, I will be talking about uh, my Keenbox experience uh, and my surgery that I got done for Keenbox. Um, and yeah, this is a video. So my experience with Keenbox started January of 2019. Um, I had a desk job. I wasn't doing anything crazy. Um, I had been going to the gym and lifting, but I don't necessarily think that that's what caused it, but who knows? I don't know what caused cane box. But my first symptoms began showing January of 2019. And essentially what that looks like was loss of strength in my hand and um, a lot of pain in my forearm. I went to go see a doctor. The doctor said, I had tendonitis. Uh, the symptoms did go away about after about a month. Then in August of that same year, I started developing um, the same symptoms and they progressively got worse. Um, and so then I started noticing that, yes, I had a lot of pain in my form, but also I was losing strength, like a lot of, like a lot of strength and um, mobility. I, my wrist became like more mobile. Like I couldn't, it hurt to put a lot of pressure on it. Um, and then I couldn't necessarily stretch it as much as I um, was able to prior to that year. Um, December of that same year, 2019, I got a uh, an x-ray and the doctor that uh, reviewed the x-ray said, I think you have Keenbox because the lunate is showing wider than the rest of the bones and that usually means that it's lacking blood supply and therefore dying and i was like oh god this sounds horrible but um i went with a second opinion and i got a cat scan and an mri and both confirmed that i did have king box which means that your lunate or my lunate was dying and there's like literally no cure for it so I would either let it dissolve or do something about it, like get some sort of surgery. Um, so I found a an amazing doctor uh, here in the state where I live, and I proceeded with a uh, proximal oral carpectomy, and which basically means, if you haven't done any research on that, um, taking out the row of bones, so the lunate and then the two surrounding bones. So as of today, I don't have those three bones on my wrist. And I'm going to include some clips of videos post-surgery. Um, the surgery was pretty straightforward. I got it done June of 2020, so less than a year ago. And um, I was in a cast for a month, then a splint for a few weeks. And then after that, the doctor said I didn't need a splint. I started going to PT and... Um, I went from there. Uh, when I first got off, when I they first removed the cast, I literally could not hold on to. I couldn't pick anything up. It, it was I had no strength in my arm, um, which was crazy. Now, strength wise, there are a lot of things that I can do that I thought was were going to take me longer than a year or like a year post surgery to to do. Um, and I can go into more detail about that in a second video, but this video will just be short to talk about the PRC and um, less than, an update on less than a year of post-surgery. Um, I'm happy I got it done. The pain is no longer there and I actually can move my hand in a lot of ways that I wasn't able to prior to surgery. And I'm just tra retraining my hand and retraining my body to... Um, strength wise and also mobility wise. I'm gonna post some videos of post-surgery on here. And then if anybody has any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um, and honestly, when I first got diagnosed, I was really, really scared and started doing a lot of research. So I'm hoping that this video um, might help some people who are uh, diagnosed with a uh, cane box or looking into a PRC for whatever reason, or anybody who's gotten the PRC and who is interested in knowing how my post-surgery situation um, has been like and how it's going. So uh, yeah, happy to talk about all those things. Um, but here are some funny videos of me post-surgery. Go. Go. Hi, I just got home from 
surgery, I got a PRC done, with, which stands for proximal row carpectomy, uh, because I have um, Keenbox disease. So my lunate bone was completely disintegrating. And um, because it was avascular, so essentially dying. So um, the doctor took out my lunate and then the two surrounding bones next to it. And this is what my arm looks like. Um, I was in a lot of pain right after I woke up from anesthesia, but um, the nurse gave me some medication and I'm feeling better now. And in a few hours, I'll be able to start taking my prescribed medication. Um, as of right now, I can move my fingers um, and they have told me to just keep my arm elevated. Um, as much as possible and ice it. So I'm icing my elbow, but they also told me to ice this area as well. So, um, yeah, this is post-surgery video number one. <laughs> hey, all. <laughs> I'm back. It's been uh, pretty much 12 hours since my surgery. And I think today went really good. As soon as I got out of surgery, I was um, in a lot of pain. I requested more drugs while I was, before I left the hospital, the surgery center. And they did give me more drugs. And then I waited four hours before I took my, um, my pills that they had prescribed. Um, and I've been taking them regularly every four hours. Um, as for pain, I think that it's been pretty minimal um, at the beginning of the day I started off being able to move my arms, I mean, sorry, my fingers, and I could really wiggle every single one of them without um, any pain and very easily. And as the days progressed and well into the night, and now I feel like I have a lot of swelling going on and I'm, I can still move my fingers, but it definitely, they don't move as much and it takes some concentration to do so. Um, so this is what my, arm looks like right now it's fully bandaged and um, I've been icing it putting ice on top because that's what they told me to do and then putting ice on my elbow area and icing um, my fingers and that's been working out fine um, I've been also elevating it, so keeping it in this position when I'm sitting down. I tried to nap earlier today, and also I put some pillows while I was sleeping, although I realized it felt like two pillows was too much, so I'm gonna try maybe one pillow for tonight um, to see how that goes. Um, when I was napping earlier, I couldn't fully pass out for some reason. I'm not sure what was going on, but I don't, I don't think I was fully relaxed, and it kept jolting, and I think that caused some um, well, yeah, it caused pain and I just don't know if that sort of led to this swelling that I have going on if like it's pretty normal, but I think that for the most part, it's fine. I don't see any, like the color, I pinch my fingers and the color comes back pretty fast. So I think it's pretty normal. I showered, I wrapped this up in a huge bag that I actually got from the surgery center and um, my sister helped me uh, shower. I did not wash my hair, just do like a quick body wash and that was um awesome i feel great now and i'm feeling ready for bed i took my last pill for the night i'm gonna shoot for uh going six hours without medication um well so i've been doing four hour intervals of my pills and so i'm gonna do six hours um i'm gonna try to do that tonight and see how that goes and yeah um in terms of the surgery i'm so glad it's over it's gonna be a long road for recovery but i already have my post-op um, appointment scheduled so i'm feeling really good about that and getting um, out of this and getting my uh, stitches removed as well. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how tomorrow goes. And yeah, I'm excited to have a good night tonight. Hi everybody. So this is the Monday after my surgery. So not a full week yet, uh, but close to it. And I just wanted to give an update on where I'm at with my arm, my wrist. Um, so I'm completely off of medication as of Saturday, I think. Um, 
Friday I think was the last time I took my medication and then this Saturday Sunday I haven't taken anything not even ibuprofen um, it's been fine I think at night sometimes I'll have mild pain um, last night I my arm fell asleep for a little bit which was interesting that was the first time that that's happened um, but other than that I am pretty much pain free um, just some movements I think um, agitate my wrist but nothing too crazy um, so I can um, move my elbow in like pretty much every direction I can extend it fully up without any problem um, this feels fine and I feel like I can hold it up here for an extended period of time I can bring my elbow down um, to full ex extension that way that feels okay in terms of my fingers um, it does cause like, it's like a little troublesome putting my fingers up this way um, I have to work towards it for that and then when I make a fist that's okay but then extending it from the fist takes some work but that feels okay um, I just feel like I I'm like this all day so I have to really work for um, the extension of my fingers and um, like mobility that way I do like to do this to my fingers once in a while and just stretch them out that way. I also do ice them and sometimes I'll ice my elbow as well as put an ice pack above my cast as well. Um, my thumb, I can do this and then do it the other way. I can move it fairly okay. Um, I just can't really extend it out much yet. So. There is that, um, but I think overall I'm doing okay. There isn't, there haven't been any crazy changes since the last update. Um, eating can be a little bit hard with my left hand, but um, if there's anything that I can't do, um, my sister, my lovely sister is here to help me. Um, but yeah, that's the update on my Keenbox PRC journey. And um, yeah, I'll give an update soon. Um, I have my post-op surgery next Monday, so a week from now, and hopefully I can get this thing off. There's been a lot of itching underneath here, um, and I can't wait to uh, just get this thing off, but I think the hard cast is probably gonna be a worse situation. So we'll deal with that um, when it comes. Anyways, that was my update, and um, I'll chat with you all soon.